The cosmos is a collection of jewels, infinite in all directions, where every jewel reflects all the other jewels, which means each of you reflects the whole cosmos. You have, in your body, you have a map of the whole macrocosm. Every electron includes the whole cosmos. Every ant is a, is a mirror or a map of the whole system. So this means that things are inseparable. Things are interlinked. Things are interpenetrating, interbeing. These are some fancy terms that postmodernists use. Indra's net got exported into Buddhism. Uh, it became the central paradigm of Buddhism. They call it Indra's net in the Chinese. They call it Indra's net. And so it's referred to the source. So you'll see physicists writing books. If you search, you'll find books called uh, Indra's Net and Chaos Theory, where it's sort of the metaphor for how chaos gets organized. It's a metaphor for holography, a metaphor for quantum physics, Indra's Net. You see Indra's Net being used for environmentalism and ecology, for social harmony, how a lot of diversity can be in social harmony. So Indra's net became a, a, a big thing 